Hey guys, how's everybody doing? So this video is a, a comparison test compared to the biggest, most popular uh, makes and models of uh, upgraded uh, fuel pumps. So link in the video description if you just want to skip straight to the article. It's got a graph in there so you can see all the fuel pumps side by side. So if you want to keep watching the video, I'll just give you a brief summary of, 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 of the article. So it, the, in the test, it's done by uh, Import Tuna magazine and it compares uh, fuel pumps from Aeromotive, Ditch Works, uh, Walbro, it compares stock pumps from an Evo 9 and an 05 STI, it has a Bosch 044 um, and it's got, it's got other pump, I don't remember what they are at the moment, but it's, a, it's got a full range of pumps in there. Uh, basically the pattern seems to be uh, the difference between a pump that doesn't flow so much and a pump that flows a lot seems to be the amount of current that the uh, pump can draw. So the more so the more powerful the motor, the more electrical energy it needs, the more uh, fuel it can supply. Doesn't really seem to be any technology going on with them um, apart from that with the one exception which was the Walbro which actually draws less amps than the uh, stock fuel pumps and yet massively it flows much more than the stock fuel pumps so Walbro seemed to be doing something either with their uh, motor technology or with their impeller technology um, you know something seems to be much more advanced than the pumps from the other manufacturers. Um, one thing to note, the, probably the biggest thing, it was a surprise really in the test, the biggest difference between the pumps, like I said, was the amps that they draw. So all of the upgraded fuel pumps uh, draw much more, like I said, much more amps than the standard fuel pumps. But I would say most cars have a 10 to 15 amp fuse for the fuel pump and these upgraded fuel pumps are drawing uh, 12, 13, 14 amps generally just, just to flow fuel in normal operation and then they were going up to 14, 15, 16 amps um, at maximum capacity whereas the Walbro again being the exception it was drawing around 6 amps in their normal driving and going up to 10 amps for maximum fuel flow if I if for me personally if I've got a 15 amp fuel fuse in uh, my car I'm not going to be really 100% comfortable using the fuel pump that's drawing you know 13 or 14 amps in normal day-to-day -day driving and then can peak at 14 15 16 amps at peak fuel flow I feel much more comfortable with the wild roll because that is like I said 6 amps and 10 amps max which is well underneath the maximum rating of the fuse. So if I was going to fit the other fuel pumps from the other manufacturers because I needed that little bit extra fuel flow then I'm going to be tempted to fit uh, to run thicker wiring to the fuel pump and be putting a bigger fuse in there just to be on the safe side. Um, but going further than that, the Bosch 044 in the, in the fuel test, the 044 uh, flows at higher, at higher PSIs, it outflows all of the other pumps. Um, so if I was going to run, if I was going to go to the effort of th running thicker wires to my fuel pump, I think I'm going to do the little bit extra on the end and I'm going to put a separate fuel swirl pod in the, in the fuel system and use the uh, Bosch 044 which will be using the same cables as the other uh, other fuel pumps in the test because it draws around the same amount of amps uh, while flowing by having a higher power handling capability so I don't think, just to repeat, I don't think I'm going to use a drop in fuel pump that requires me to use, well in my opinion, requires me to use thicker cables. If I'm going to run the thicker cables, like I said, I'm going to go with an external fuel pump.
pod, swirl pod, and uh, you just use the Bosch 044 because that is the, the highest flowing pump. And then my fuel pump is sort of race ready, motorsport ready. Uh, it's not going to be affected by a high G Jesus. It's not going to be affected by high G cornering, braking, etc., etc. So that was the takeaway from the test for me. Up to 500, 550 horsepower, uh, running two, two and a half bar of boost. <clears throat> for me, Wildbro is clear winner because I don't need to do anything with the cables. So that was the article, guys. Like I said, I basically have written all this in the uh, in the article, link to in the description. Please vote on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again next time.